Stone tries to dig, dig it through Matt Case. Great work by Case to stand him up. Puck loose comes to Adam Miller, and he scores. 30-second break on KTIK. Adam Miller's first of the series. The Wranglers lead it one to nothing. Claire. Since 1928, Dryer's Grand Ice Cream has been creating and manufacturing premium ice cream. Dryer's offers premium ice cream, slow-churned ice cream, frozen yogurt, and no sugar added. Look for their special fall. In other news, uh, we got our problems. Below the goal line. Good work by Joe Pereira. Backhand shot, and he scores! Joe Pereira earned every bit of that goal. He outworked Jeff Pakovich on the far wall, picked up the puck in the corner, moved up to the bottom of the circle, and backhands it right between Joe Fallon's legs, and we're tied at one. What an effort from Joe Pereira. Spins away from May, and then just shovels a backhand. Pick it up. Out to the point, it's Chris Francis. Pump fake, shot, redirected, and scored. Jeff Pakovich with the redirection from about the hash marks has given the Las Vegas Wranglers a 2-1 to one lead. Let's take a 30-second break on KTIK. Las Vegas 2, Idaho 1, 12.52 to go in the second. Clear. AmericaOne.com is your home for exciting ECHL action. Catch all the Idaho Steelheads action on and off the ice. And Cousins, then a bouncing puck comes ahead. It's Josh London swiped away from him. Goldie gets in deep, a shot and a score. 30-second break on KTIK. A little two-man rush turns into an Ash Goldie goal. Wranglers lead it by two. 18.04 to go in the third. Clear. America's Sub Shop, where you can get seven subs for $5. Seven delicious, handmade, all-American blimpy subs for just five bucks a pop. That's right. Get the 12 Mobile device. Can't see the Idaho Steelheads action live? Then you have the choice to watch on demand and on your schedule. Go to AmericaOne.com for more information. We're number five online sports. AmericaOne.com. Two, one, Mike and Q. It's now a four to one hockey game as Chris Francis scores off the faceoff. The puck squirts from the far circle, is played over to the near circle. A nice feed, and Francis is able to go over the glove hand of a sprawling Jerry Coon. Pretty home. Held on to there by Channing Bow. We're inside 10 seconds to go. This hockey game is over. Game five coming up on Sunday night. Lease that just missed posts. Offensive zone draw. Steel heads with it. Myers will turn and flip one towards the net. Bouncing. Whacking it a rebound. Terrace hook to Myers. A shot and a score! Ronnie Myers! From the bottom of the right-hand circle in the Idaho. Steelheads take the lead! It was a bouncing puck at the near post. It winds up coming back to Myers after Tarasuk whips on the shot. Myers settles it down and fires it right under the armpit of Joe Fallon, his second of the playoffs. And the Idaho Steelheads have the lead. We'll play it into the offensive zone. It's Judd Blackwater to Adam Miller. His shot up over the net, and it was popped into the air and rolled wide to the near post. Joe Pereira with it. Turns it over and a goal. Pereira turns it over. And Lampy feeds it back door to, I believe it was Adam Miller. And we are tied at one goal apiece. 30-second break on KTIK. Bad break for the Steelheads. It's a 1-1 hockey game. Everyone wants Claire. most for their dollar. But you don't have to sacrifice quality for a good value. Get the best dining value in town at Lock, Stock & Barrel in downtown Boise. Lock, Stock & Barrel has delicious entrees like hand-carved steaks, Boise's best prime rib, fresh seafood, nightly specials, and the all-you-can-eat salad bar with every entree. Enjoy your... Over on the far side, it's Matt Case. Looks like he might have gotten stung by the puck. And it's Miller to Lampy. A shot, and it's over. Eric Lampy scores, and the hockey game is over. At 9-14, so 10-36, 10-46 of overtime. Eric Lampy scores his first of the series, and the Wranglers are moving on. This crowd that remains are coming to their feet to salute the Idaho Steelheads and also the Las Vegas Wranglers for a sensational series. 
And here comes one of the great traditions in all of hockey, all of sports, as the two teams will meet at center ice and shake hands. The Las Vegas Wranglers move on. Two to one in overtime. Eric Lampy, the game winning goal. Jerry Cohn, 51 saves on the evening. As the two teams shake hands, we'll have the Aquafina three stars coming up. Jerry Coon right now, I imagine he's getting a lot of congratulations from the Wranglers for the work he did in this series. The Wranglers, a very good hockey team, and it should be a heck of a Western Conference Finals between the Wranglers and the Alaska Aces. The Wranglers heading off the ice as they finish the handshakes. Coon going through. Talking to Chris Francis right now. Now he'll meet Jeff Pakovich. Hardy Sauter, the head coach of the Idaho Steelheads, shaking some hands as well. The Steelhead players staying on the ice to salute the crowd. Adam Huxley, the former Steelhead, exchanging hugs as he goes through the line. Just skipped Hardy Sauter. Not a very classy move there from Adam Huxley as he refuses to shake Hardy Sauter's hand. Ryan Mujanel and Hardy Sauter meet at center ice. And the team... Will now leave the ice, the Las Vegas Wranglers. The Steelheads will come out and salute their fans. Mujanel comes over and has some words for Jerry Coon. Taps him on the backside. And the Steelhead crowd saluting the Idaho Steelheads who will take a lap. The season has come to an end for the Idaho Steelheads. We'll just let you watch it on the America One Networks for a second. Listen to it on KTIK. As the captain, Marty Flickle, leading a victory lap for a small but spirited crowd this evening who saw another very good hockey game. There's the captain, Marty Flickle, at 36. Have we seen his last game as an Idaho Steelhead? He said he's going to give it a few weeks once the season's over, see how the body feels, and then decide. What we do know is that this group, as a group, we have seen play for the final time. The fans still saluting the Steelheads as they head off the ice. Jerry Coon, the last one coming off for Idaho. Getting one final salute from the Idaho crowd.